This video is a part of a series of videos based on reproductive toxicology. In this video, we'll be focusing on the transmission of toxins to the fetus. We're part of a third year group from UCD in Dublin studying pharmacology. These are the links to the website and an app that we've developed. There's lots of different resources on the website, including games, fact sheets, and other content. There's also an introductory video giving a summary of the reproductive system. You can just click here to go to that video now. Toxins are transmitted to the fetus via the placenta. There is a placenta blood barrier, but some toxins are able to cross this. The first drug we'll be talking about is thalidomide. Thalidomide is a teratogen. A teratogen is a drug or other substance that's capable of interfering with fetus development, leading to birth defects. Teratogenic agents act in specific ways on developing cells and tissues to initiate a sequence of abnormal events. Thalidomide was originally used to treat nausea and to cause sedation. It then was discovered to be helpful in treating morning sickness. For pregnant women. It was believed that thalidomide wouldn't cross the placental barrier. The main teratogenic effect caused by thalidomide is that it causes phocomelia, which is a malformation of limbs. There are many proposed mechanisms of action by which thalidomide is teratogenic. The first is interruption of the vascular endothelial growth factor and fibroblast growth factor, the basic form, signaling. Another is inhibition of tumor necrosis factor alpha synthesis by tumor necrosis factor alpha mRNA breakdown. There are reduction in cytokines such as IL-6 and IL-12. also causes a reduction in free radical count leading to oxidative nucleic acid damage due to the effects of reactive oxygen species. There are many other proposed mechanisms by which thalidomide is teratogenic. Thalidomide was sold in over 46 countries, with approximately 10,000 babies being affected by this. In recent years, the anti-angiogenic properties of thalidomide have been investigated for use in cancer treatment. The second toxin we'll be focusing on is ethanol. Ethanol is responsible for the development of fetal alcohol syndrome. This was described in 1923 as dysmorphic facial features and growth delays. This develops due to alcohol consumption whilst pregnant. Ethanol crosses the placental blood barrier due to its lipophilicity. Ethanol can cause hypoxia and malnutrition in the fetus due to the fact that it constricts blood vessels in the cardiovascular system.